<laughs> and not after. And not right there. It's an old tramp steamer which was on its way to the Ru to Russia from the US. But it got caught in a storm and hit the reef and sunk on the west of Bermuda. Now it's a bit choppy day, a bit bad weather, but we get a lot of surge in this area at points um, during the winter and the actual bow has actually been collapsed by the winter storms. And it's the first time I'm actually going to dive it since the bow has actually been collapsed. So I'm actually looking forward to see what it actually looks like compared to what it used to look like. As we continue to explore the Lartington wreck, the reason why the vessel was called a tramp steamer was because the vessel would use sail and also steam power. Now when there was not enough wind, they would bring the sails down and use the coal boilers to power the vessel. Now because the coal would give off soot, it would make it look dirty and they called it a tramp, hence the name tramp steamer. Now the vessel left Savannah, Georgia in 1879 on its way to Russia, but on its way apparently it was hit by over a hundred foot wave which smashed the bow and cracked the hull. The captain made a run for Bermuda but unfortunately hit more reef and more blind breakers. However, because he made the run to Bermuda, he was actually only five miles west of Royal Naval Dockyard and being so close, he was able to get the whole crew and the cargo to be rescued and salvaged. On the wreck, there's a lot of life, and should we come across, we find a flamingo tongue. But as I don't have a macro lens, there's no chance I'm getting this in focus. But they're beautiful wee creatures, and if you have a macro lens, the detail comes up so cleanly. The wreck is great to explore for all levels of divers, with only being 11 meters. You get plenty of time on the wreck and it's also perfect for free divers and snorkelers as well and the wreck is 
home to so many species of fish. You just need to look in the nooks and crannies and just around and you'll find queen angel fish, you can find lion fish, and in the deeper sand patches, you can also get eagle rays. But unfortunately, we didn't get an eagle ray today.